I am building a coquette themed house in Bloxburg. As you can see, there's bows and pink everywhere, which fits the aesthetic, I hope. The exterior value is about $20,000. And as you have probably guessed, I had a lot of fun building this house because I got to place bows everywhere. Like it was an excuse to place all of these bows. And if you've been watching my recent videos, especially my Christmas videos, you know I love these bows in Bloxburg. So I love placing them everywhere. And I just thought the outcome was super cute. So I was really enjoying building this. And I love the pinks. We have rose bushes, which are just so pretty. I love them. One of my favorite Bloxburg items for sure. And I love this area the most. This like circular kind of wall thingy. <laughs> Sorry, it's 3.30 in the morning. I don't know what I'm saying. But I think it's so cute with the bows above and beneath each window. And then these roses, they're just so pretty. I love the plants up here. I just think it's such a cute little house. It's like a single person, like cottage kind of house. Could be like a starter home too. It's pretty affordable. And if we make an interior, it'll be affordable. I promise I won't decorate too much, but I will place more bows. So please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see an interior. I would love to make one. I want to place more bows. But yeah, I love this house. I think it's adorable. Cute little coquette house. Two stories too. And because it's the middle of January, it could actually be used as a Valentine's Day house. If you want to get a head start building your Valentine's Day home, yeah, this can be a Valentine's Day house because there's so much pink and white and bows. Lots of bows. Yeah, use this for whatever you'd like. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I've seen the coquette TikTok trend. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. I actually enjoy those videos. So this is my take on the trend. I'm going to make a TikTok talk of this house and partake in the trend officially so go follow me there <laughs> if you want to check out the video yeah so we're gonna start building right now so get comfy and get a snack and make sure you have a lot of bows so let's start building okay so this is the first floor layout and the second floor is right here pretty easy pretty small but it's gonna be a cute little house so let's start on the first floor we are going to place the walls five squares back and we're gonna place three to the right and i'm gonna color these walls seashell because obviously we need some pink in this build so yeah we're gonna use the horizontal planks material now i'm not sure what the interior wall colors are going to be so we're going to skip that for now you guys let me know if you want to see an interior below so let's just continue with the exterior so we're going to place one wall back and make sure you copy it once you've painted it so that you can save some money so we're going to place another one to the right now we're going to place one on like a 90 degree angle <laughs> going down a bit like this see what i'm doing with my mouse yeah so just do that and then one to the right and then another one on that little slant like this so now we can go four back and then two four six seven to the left Left, and then down five right to where we started very easy right okay upstairs so we're gonna start six squares back and we're going to go to the far right side of the house over here and we are going to place three down to the left like this basically on top of this circular area of the house okay so now we can go back four and then to the left two four six times and then down two to the right by three and then down two again so i'll place the interior walls and go over each room so we're gonna place two walls here this is gonna be the bathroom and this is gonna be the bedroom room. I thought that was a cute little layout upstairs. I don't know. <laughs> so this is just going to be like a wall separating the living room, which is going to be over here from the kitchen over here. And then the dining table is going to be over here and the stairs are going to be placed there. We're going to use these spiral stairs. I thought these would be cute for like this small cottage kind of house. We'll do that if we make an interior though. So that's pretty much what I was thinking. I have a really cute layout, I think for the interior. And I really hope you guys want to see me make that. So for now, we're going to work on the roof. Let's start off on the first floor with the gable roof. So you're going to turn on man annual placement. We're going to start over here in the bottom left corner of this wall and then we're going to go to the right by three and then go back up by three and then to the left by three just covering this area right here which is basically like that foyer entrance area and then you can place it down. So we're going to color the roof white with the metal roof. I love that combination and then obviously you have to color this your pink with the wall planks thing the horizontal planks and then the ceiling color I really like going with white and wood grain. I think that'll look cute for this cottage house. So we're going to copy that gable roof and we're going to place it over here. So I would turn off your roof so you could see a bit better You're gonna start one up from this bottom left corner and we're gonna go to the right by four And then you're gonna go back by two and then to the left by four So it's gonna look like this and basically we're covering this kind of area right here So you could raise that up a little bit. It's actually cheaper So you're gonna save money doing that. So I'll probably do this and place it down one more roof We're gonna use the flat roof and manual placement again So we're gonna start right here in front of this wall and we're gonna just place one down and then three across to the right And then back up one just to cover this like front porch area and then we're just gonna color it white and then white again and white with the wood gray material like we were using before and then i would just suggest taking that flat roof and then just covering up this little area right here because no one's gonna notice that so it's all good and then you're gonna take that flat roof one more time and we're just gonna place it over this area right here just to give that a roof obviously and while we're over here i completely forgot but i actually wanted to make these walls just white with the smooth plastic i'm sorry about that just recolor these white with the smooth plastic i want it to match that roof you'll see why 
way yeah so that's it so we can go upstairs to the second floor we're gonna copy that gable roof again though manual placement again so we're gonna start over here on the right side of this house and we're gonna start in the bottom left corner and then go to the right by three and then back all the way and then to the left by three like that pretty easy and then i'm just gonna resize it a bit i'm gonna shrink it down slightly i just like the way that looks so yeah and for this area i want to make it the flat roof again i just like the way that looks so yeah that's pretty much it we have the roof and everything so let's place the pillars because we need to hold up this flat roof right here so i wanted to use the rustic columns because i'm gonna place bows on them and i think they're gonna look awesome well i already know how they look because i planned this out and i think they look great so bows are gonna go right down here oh my gosh i'm so excited this video is an excuse to use all of my hundreds of bows that i've saved in my inventory so we'll place the actual pillars for the house itself which are gonna be the recessed square pillars so we're gonna place those in each corner and then we're gonna color it white with i just dropped my phone oops at least it wasn't my switch because my switch is next to me white with seashell right here <laughs> yes so we're keeping with our colors and we're just gonna place those in each corner except for right here these aren't gonna have any pillars so just place them on the sides like this and then if you want to go to the back of the house you just place them in each corner i'll probably do that for the interior though i like to place them throughout the house once we decorate the interior usually i don't know why i do that but yeah next up we're gonna place the windows so we're gonna have fun with these windows let's start over here on the right side of the house so i want to use these curved windows guys these look so pretty they're perfect i think for a coquette house kind of thing hello guys this is me from the future i might be the most indecisive person on the planet because i am changing these window colors for the third time but i'm telling you what i am going to color them and leave them as permanently so you don't have to recolor them like 10 times like me but i'm coloring them seashell with the light reddish violet hue so that's what i'm doing for these windows ignore everything over here <laughs> okay let's get back to the build so we're gonna place three of those on each wall like that that little circular thing i just love that design and for this second floor wall we're going to use the factory window right here the large factory window my bad we're gonna color it once again white and then that pink again the pink hue you can kind of see that and then we're gonna give it curtains but we're gonna give it some like actual curtains like not shutters like curved curtains these pretty curtains so we could place this down and we're gonna color the bar itself white with the smooth plastic so it matches the windows and then the curtains themselves are gonna be seashell with the foil material because if you've been watching my recent videos you know i love using the foil material for my curtains i don't know why it just looks so pretty and with this house yes it definitely works look at that it looks so cute so far over here we're gonna grab one more window and we're gonna use this square window and then we're gonna color it the same as the others but this time we are going to give it a custom design so i'm gonna go over to structural and i'm going to grab the standard round rod right here i'm gonna turn on custom placement if you can't do this don't worry you could just substitute this window with this small sunset window or even the standard window i'd probably recommend this one this one's cute i just like this window design that i made and we're gonna start at the center of this window at the top and we're gonna place it all the way down like this and color it white and then we're gonna copy it one more time and do the same thing just horizontally like this yeah isn't that so cute i don't know why we don't have these windows in blocksburg like i don't know why i had to custom design that myself like these are the most basic windows but they're so cute we should so have them blocksburg please add these so let's grab the front door now which is gonna be this traditional french door i love this door and i think it'll look great with this house so we're gonna color it white and then we're gonna color it oyster because that's kind of like a light pinkish i don't know it looks like it's in the family of pinks and then of course they're gonna use that pink hue again and yeah isn't that so cute i love it so i'm excited to place the lights and the plants because it's gonna look even more lively first let's grab the wall trim because it's gonna add more detail to this build so we're gonna use a flat crown molding a lot so we're gonna place that over here and here basically we're gonna place it on each pink wall like this and even this wall back here you could place it around the build like the sides and the back if you like okay and for these white walls we're gonna use the robust crown molding so nice more detail yeah so the bottom wall trim we're gonna use is this short rail molding we're gonna color it white and then we're gonna color it oyster and then the brick material once again that will be placed on the pink walls like here and you can do the sides and the back if you'd like to i might not do that for the white walls i was thinking of using the wood paneling and then just coloring all of it white but the top and the bottom sections could be the seashell doesn't that look kind of cute now we can grab the light so we're gonna use this realistic outdoor wall lamp and i'm gonna place one over here next to the front door we're gonna color the lights this pink right here perfect right and then we could color like the lamp itself just white and then place that on the top of this roof as well as this one over here so much brighter now and one more thing over here on this roof i wanted to place this square chimney sorry i forgot about that and we're just gonna color it all white very nice so cute and cozy right okay here's the fun part i'm going to my inventory and i'm grabbing my bows and i'm gonna place two on each pillar like this so cute i love these bows i have hundreds of them yeah so and then i'm gonna scroll down 
down and I'm gonna grab the large bows and I'm gonna place one beneath this light and another one beneath this light and then I'm actually gonna grab one more small bow and place it at the top of this chimney. I don't know why, but it looks great, right? The coquette aesthetic like has tons of bows everywhere. Apparently, like that's what I see on TikTok. So you know what? It makes sense. So what if we placed a few of the small bows like under these windows like this? Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna try not to place too many, but also you can't really get mad at me for it because it's part of this style, right? So it's kind of an excuse to place a bunch of bows. Oh wait, I actually might place them at the top of the windows. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> I don't want to like overwhelm you guys with bows. I have to stop. What if I did this? Is that too many bows? I don't know. We're gonna color these bows light reddish violet, that nice pink. The small ones are gonna be colored that. And I think the large ones, I made this custom pink color and I love it so much. If you don't have the custom color wheel, just stick to this pink or this pink. But if you do have it and you want to copy it, this is it. I'm in love with it. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. I want to use that pink for the large bows. Kind of change it up a bit. I think that pink is so pretty. What if I did this bow design over here? Would you guys be mad? Is this too much? <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll leave it for a bit. Let's go right over here. See, this area is pretty empty. So I wanted to place down some flower bushes because I love these. This house is an excuse to just place down my favorite blocks for items and no one can like yell at me because it's part of the coquette style. So I'm going to use a skill tool. I'm going to resize this bush a bit. You don't have to do that. Totally just me being annoying. But yeah, we're going to stick to our pink. So we've been using these two pinks a lot and seashell, of course. So that's what I'm going to go with. Oh, and the plants, I'm going to color sage green. Love that color. I was thinking of placing these two right here. And then I'm going to grab the beautiful rose bushes and I'll place down one right over here. Sage green, not for the flowers. Ew. <laughs> and then I'm going to use that custom color again. Oh my gosh. I want that custom color in real life. Like I want to wear that color in real life. Like that pink is so pretty. Look at these bushes. Oh my gosh, guys. They're so pretty. I'm just going to place a few of these around. So I also grabbed some roses and I took them from my inventory. So I was thinking of placing them down right here around like this, whatever this is, like a balcony kind of thing. I thought that would look so cute. Look at that. I love these roses. Oh my gosh. This is the best thing Bloxburg did, adding these into the game. It looks like they're growing out from the bushes themselves, which makes so much sense. I hope. Okay. I'm going to need to garden a bit. If you don't know how to get those roses in your inventory, basically go to garden and then you're going to grab the rose bushes and you're just going to place a few down and then you're going to click on the bushes out of build mode and click on store. And then they're going to go straight to your inventory. Maybe I'm doing too much. I might be placing too many, but oh well, they look pretty, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. I love this. Oh my gosh. Wait, guys, I have to check my spirits real quick. They're exploring some ruins with Toadette. Sorry, I had to take an intermission from recording. I'm very serious about my spirits. So we're gonna continue gardening. We finished with this area. So we're gonna focus on like the actual grass itself. I love the spiral hedge tree. If you guys have been watching my videos for a bit, you know I use these in lots of my builds, specifically my modern builds. I just think they're so cute. So it takes up that area over here because I don't know what that wall is gonna be for honestly so that's perfect we don't have to worry about that wall anymore so we can grab the floor this is going to be for our walkway obviously but first i'm going to make a little patio kind of area i think i want to go with like different texture though Ooh, these ice blocks okay it's hard to see with the snow <laughs> i think if we colored them oyster that would look cute i'm actually using these ice blocks for another build i'm working on right now oh my gosh i am so excited to show you guys what i'm working on it's inspired by a video game that i love so much <laughs> yeah so you guys can guess what it is but yeah these ice blocks remind me of that oh my gosh i can't wait to show you guys so i think we're gonna do something like that very simple and then we can outline it with the plain shirt fence and color it just white like this so easy um we're probably not gonna have a garage if you want a garage just add one over here like this just take this floor and then just like outline it once again and then that could be your easy garage i might not do that i kind of just want to focus on like the house itself and make it like a little cottage plus i don't have a car i'm too broke for that because i'm in the middle of another build like i just said so we need to place down some floor yeah this texture and grass no thank you let's get some mode grass lines i'm coloring them sage green again like i said before for all my plants we could place something over here because this does not work lana del rey song stuck in my head let the light in because of this trend <laughs> I'm gonna make a TikTok and participate in that trend with this build right here. And I'm gonna grab this really cheap bush right here, place that down, and I'm gonna place the flowers around this bush. So it'll look like their own rose bush, but it's like cheaper because I don't have enough money to do this. So if we place them like this, and that way we're still gonna be able to see our beautiful bows because I wanna be able to see those and stare at them and admire them. I think that's so cute. Wait, I love those. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I just need to grab more roses. <laughs> okay, so we use like four for each bush over here, and then we use like 
seven up here. <laughs> I might just place another like grass over here. Should we do another one of those? I don't know. Do we want it to be like symmetrical like that? I mean, it looks nice. I think you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I just thought <laughs> of placing the bows at the top of the pillars. Maybe we'll do this color for the pillars like we did over here. Maybe these too. I am so sorry, guys. I just am so obsessed with these bows. This build is really fun for me. Is that cute? I don't know. <laughs> guys, I don't know. I don't think this looks good because it's blocking the build. Okay, so we're gonna start to landscape a bit. So I'm trying to think of like what would be like coquette. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Flowers, I guess. Some grass. So I think we're gonna do that. Color it the sage green. I'm thinking maybe we could place plants and stuff. Maybe like a plant design or something. I think we should grab like some tulips though. I feel like that would fit this style. Some wildflowers. Oh, I think I came up with a nice design. Like fence design. So we might get rid of some of these plants. But for now, I'll just like move them back a bit. Because we're gonna grab this deck railing fence. We're gonna place it down. Let's color it. Part of it white with pink. Very cute. So we're just gonna place some of those around the entire build. Fence in our yard. So we can do that on this side as well. So now I'm gonna grab this rose bush again. And then I'm gonna place it like this. Every other grid. I think that's kind of cute. They're kind of like along the fence. And then if we place this basic bush with them. So how is this? Nice. Hopefully. We're gonna grab one more of these like spiral hedges right over here. Yeah, nothing crazy with the yard. I like to keep it simple because I don't want it taking away from my builds. I'm always scared of that. The landscape taking away from the build because I love them build. Do you guys think we need more bows? I have to control myself. I think we could grab heart string lights though. This is like a Valentine's Day build. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant to do. That's cute though. So I think this house is pretty much finished. I don't think there's much more to place because I really want to place bows and I'm trying not to do that <laughs> as to not annoy everybody. So I think it's really nice. I actually love it. Oh my gosh. I love the way it turned out. I love all the bows. I'm sorry. I won't place any more. Well, if we make an interior, I will. <laughs> I love all of the rose bushes and the roses. I love the colors. They're so cute. Like single person cottage house. I hope you guys want me to make an interior because I really want to decorate this. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you love this house. Let me know your thoughts and let me know anything else I should add. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.